What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Sinister from Sinister House Music. Back with another tutorial with NPC Beats. This is going to be a short video. I just want to break this down, show y'all how to scan your VST plugins and making sure that everything pulls up while you're using this program. So this is going to be real short, right to the point. Before I start this video, be sure to hit that like button. Make sure you hit your notification bell and put it on all so you be notified when I upload brand new videos and new music and more tutorials. So let's get into this video. So what you want to do is, this is the NPC program. What you want to do is go up into this upper left hand corner up here where it says NPC. And click on NPC. You want to go down to settings, click settings. Now what you want to do is you want to look in this list right here and hit plugins. Make, see, it says VST folders. So make sure everything is click right now. Once everything is clicked, you can do rescan all or scan new. So let's just say you just start in you can scan his scan new and in this box here you're going to see the program to it's going to start scanning all the vsts that's in your your laptop So just give it a minute. Now, mine could be running this slow because usually I probably just hit rescan all, but I started a new scan, so I'm just going to wait and see. And my eye lock, I actually don't have my eye lock plugged in, so let's hit cancel, right? Okay, well, look, it gave me that. So, anyway, let's do this. Let's hit rescan all. Okay, here you go. So you can see my UAD is scanning all of my stuff. And it's all it's all saying okay, okay, okay. So everything is looking good. So all of your different VST plugins that you have is going to get scanned in here. Now, while this is going on, it, it take a few, it don't take that long to run through it. So, Just gotta be patient with it. Now it it'll scan your waves and all of that. Your wave plugins that you buy from waves.com. All of that. Whatever VSTs you have, it will scan. Now, 
and this is how it's going to look. Why, why your um, NPC beats scan through the VST folders. And this would have been the same thing that Scan New would have done anyway. And see, I haven't bought no new VSTs. So all I'm doing is just rescanning everything. Okay, hold on. And as you buy more plugins and everything like that, you know, once when you buy new plugins, be sure to go back through this and rescan. So if you looking for that, if you don't see when you go to a track and you looking for a particular plugin, and I'm gonna show you once it's done, so you know what I'm talking about. Once you go to your inserts on a particular track, you might be looking for a channel strip a compressor, a EQ, a reverb, a delay, a echo, you know, or bass amp or guitar amps, and you don't see it, this is what you will have to do. You will have to rescan through your VSTs because you might have bought a new one and didn't run this in a while. So it allows your your MPC beats to rescan and make sure like everything is in that folder, that VST folder. So Now, I got to find out what's going on with this program. This is um, Waves. It's like a, like you, you get this, um, put that effect on your, your stereo output, and you'll be able to act like it, it, does, it replicates like if you're sitting in the studio. Like it imitates whatever studio that, that plug-in is. So, like, let's just say you was at Capitol Records and they got a studio. They got those plugins where it imitates being in that studio. So you can have headphones set or your speakers to sound like you in that actual studio. Okay, so now it's done down here at the bottom. Scan is done. You hit OK. So now. Let's go, you know what, let's go up to um, track one, right? And now, you know what, let's go to track two because that's a, a instrument. Now, let's just say I'm gonna mute that. Well, I'm not gonna mute it, I'm gonna solo this track. Now, let's say I want to go and do an insert, and this is where you can put your VSTs, your delays and reverbs, dynamics, EQs, filters, harmonics, moderation, vocals, and stuff, vintage stuff. So let's just say auto units, right? You see, I got my universal auto. I can go into my interface and use the plugins from there. I can use isotope or I can use waves. Now, let's just say um, I wanted to use hmm, let's just use this for example, CLA guitars. 
the effect. Now, that shows up there. Now, let's play the track. And this is how you pull up your VSTs with your inserts. So that's how you can put your VST in on your individual tracks. So that's how you do that. So anyway, I hope this video is very helpful. I'm dropping brand new videos on NPC Beats for all of y'all who's just learning how to use this program. I hope this helped you out. Hope it wasn't too long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. It's your boy Sinister, and keep producing, keep making music, and pursue and do what you love to do. All right? Peace.